Welcome back to part two of Cusco and my last few days in Peru. I've been on so many trips already in my short time in Cusco and have so many more adventures coming up. I highly recommend spending at least one week in Cusco because there's so much to do. I ended up staying almost two weeks and you'll see why I didn't end up staying longer. There's Rainbow Mountain. Oh my gosh, just got back from Rainbow Mountain. I had to like take off my 50,000 layers on the bus because the bus was so hot. So I'm back in the room and I'm like having a lot of doubts. Like Rainbow Mountain was just a snippet of the next four or five days. And it was just so tiring. Not being able to breathe and then feeling like my muscles weren't really working because it wasn't getting any oxygen. So I am tempted to kind of just switch to like day trips, a day trip to Human Thai, like a little day trip to Machu Picchu. Maybe that's it. I really like the people I met today. Everyone was super nice and encouraging. Well, anyways, I need a shower. I have a work call in a little bit. And then I need to go book my tours if I'm doing it. I'm gonna make a game time decision. In the meantime, I'm gonna just lay down for like three seconds, finish the water in my room and then go get more water. I'm exhausted. As you can see in last week's video, I was so defeated by Rainbow Mountain, but then I ultimately decided to do the four day South and Tide trek and quickly went to rent gear for the hike. I'm renting all my gear from the shop. It's amazing. This is the bag that I'm getting. <laughs> on the street. Thank you so much. Gracias. <laughs> all right, Romy Outdoors. Rent all your stuff there. It was so, so cheap for the entire stay. It's actually right next to Morena Kitchen. So worth it. I can't believe I'm doing this. I was so close to backing out, but a few things that changed my mind. I'll talk about it later because I gotta go back. I booked the Salk and Tide Trek with KB Adventures for $345 and they were so great at giving me all the information I needed and answering my questions and helping with my anxieties. My biggest decision factor was that I had no gear with me so since I was able to get a backpack, puffer, fleece, and gloves all for $20, it was a sign for me to go. Afterwards, I had dinner at Morena with my friend Dan that I met a few days ago and everything is so beautiful. We tried gui, guinea pig, and it tasted like bony chicken. The skin is a bit gooey which was interesting and I'm glad I tried it over Anyways, this is my puffer. I am now packing for three days, two nights in these two bags. This is happening. I'm going. So I need to check out tomorrow morning. I'm my stuff ready. I'm doing five hour hike tomorrow. And then the second day is 10 hours. And then five hours, and then eight hours. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, I'm gonna pack. Good morning, it is 4 a.m. We are gonna start day one of Salkante Hike. Right now I'm just trying to get everything packed into this blue bag. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing it. Here are the reasons why I decided to do the Salkan Thai trek, and I hope it helps you decide whether or not to do it. Spoiler alert, you should do it, if you can. I originally wanted to do the Inca Trail, however, all permits were sold out for the whole month, so it was impossible for me. For Inca Trail, you have to book permits in advance, so you will be hiking the original Inca Trail that the Incans built to get to Machu Picchu. There's limited permits, and you'll be hiring porters to carry everything, from the kitchen, tents, even a toilet for the four days. So it is more expensive, and you'll be walking on a lot of big stairs, so physically, it is more tiring. For the Salk and Thai trek, it is much cheaper as you'll be hiring horses to carry your bags, not porters. But you'll be staying in campsites and cabanas and huts, so there's kitchens and bathrooms available, and showers after day two. However, Salk and Thai takes you to Lake Human Thai and Salk and Thai Pass, where the altitude is much higher at 4,650 meters. So the weather and altitude is much more extreme and harder on the body. There's the four-day option or the five-day option, and I opted for the four-day option so that it could cut down on one night of camping. And there is a horse option on day two that takes you up to Salkantai Pass which shaves off 7.5 kilometers off the hike. 
Because of these shortcut options, which I knew from my body would be better for me, I decided I would do the four day option and opted for the train ride back. So that was an additional cost. In total, I paid $345, including the entrance fees and renting a sleeping bag and poles. I'll have a full vlog detailing out the four days and what it's like to hike the Salkantai Trek. So you may see for yourself if this is something you would want to do. At the end of the day, please listen to your body and the altitude and the altitude sickness is very real. There are also shorter hikes you could do to get to Machu Picchu or even just a day trip option, which I had considered doing as well. After four days of the Salkantai trek, I get back to Cusco and join Dan for dinner at Recula. I love Peruvian food so much and everything here is delicious. Afterwards, we went on the official pub crawl, which was so much fun, but I was exhausted from Salkantai, so highly recommend for another night. It is almost midnight. I just got back from the Salkantai high trek and now I'm only going to bed and I am now putting on a face mask because my skin is so dry from all the trekking, the altitude and the cold. Oh my God, face mask time. Oh yes, I needed this. Feels so good. Tomorrow is Saturday and I'm just gonna have a really chill day to relax and do nothing. You know, I'm just getting really tired right now and I'm gonna go lay in bed, fall asleep. So good night, see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Saturday. I slept in for the first time in the week. <laughs> So I woke up around 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. and I slept until 7. So now I am going to go get breakfast and then figure out my plans for the day. But it is so nice to be back in this hostel in a real bed. My place is a mess. I need to return the rental bag, jackets, gloves, and then uh, pick up my laundry and pack because I'm gonna check out tomorrow. I think it's time for me to head home at work and I kind of miss my friends. So. Heading home. I'm a little sniffly, a little bit congested, a little tired. So I think it'll be nice to just be home because Cusco is so cold. I can't deal with how cold it is. As you guys know, I hate the cold. There was a festival happening at the main plaza, so I watched that for a while before meeting up with Bram, who was in my Salkan Thai trek group for lunch at the Sun Blast Market. We got fresh juice and I ordered a Lukuma orange juice and the Machu Picchu sandwich. Then we went to get coffee by the plaza with this amazing view and just chatted about life. I had such a great time with Brahm and he's off to Bolivia next. And sorry, I don't remember what the restaurant was called and can't find it on the map, but it's on the northwest corner of the plaza. Afterwards, we met up with Dan and the Salkan Thai trekking group for a final meal as we're all leaving Peru the next day. We ate at Kusikai and Brahm ordered the Gui guinea pig and it came fully intact like this before they took it back to the kitchen to cut up. It's my last day in Cusco. I love this jacket that I bought yesterday after dinner with a couple of friends, but I check out today 11. It's about nine-ish now. I had breakfast and I'm going to go get a massage, come back, shower before I have to check out of my room. And then I am gonna go, I think I'm gonna go shopping, like walk around, take some photos. Then I'm gonna be leaving around 4.35 to get to the airport and get my massage. There was another event happening at the plaza today and even though it's entering winter, Cusco is so lively and eventful. There's so much to do here. Back in my room. So I did not get a massage. It's not open yet. So now I'm just gonna pack up my toiletries, all my stuff, check out, and then walk around town and maybe get a massage later. Last day in Cusco.
Let's go. Dan and I went to get brunch at Organica for a light meal. Then we walked around town and visited the churches by the plaza before I headed off to the airport. So I didn't have a ticket booked to Lima in advance because the LATAM website wasn't working again. So I ended up buying a ticket from the travel agency across the street from the airport. So I just bought my ticket at the travel agency and saved like 40 or 50 bucks but paying cash. Thank goodness I had an SD card. And checked in, I'm all good and set. I'm heading back to New York. I'm excited to go home. I can't wait. I bumped into Mele and Mama at the airport. They're heading home to Brazil and I was so sad to say bye to them, but I know I'll see them in Brazil one day. I would have loved to stay in Cusco longer, but it was getting so cold at night and I was so tired from all the adventures. So I can't wait to go back to New York.